if you take freedom and allow it allow it to pervert it will reap destruction in your life whatever it is whatever good thing that god created if you allow it to pervert it will cause destruction in your life it will There are no rules really around masturbation. It's something that you manage yourself somewhere in your secret place. (laughs) Who's managing your masturbation or not? You. You are. It's a tremendous responsibility you have, this sex drive and this option of your sexuality. What are you going to do with it? To try to turn it into some shame-filled punishment item is just stupid. Understanding what happens when you practice the freedom of, of masturbation. What does it do to your relationships? What does it do to your love? What does it do to the way that you feel around other people? What does it do to your perceptions of yourself and other people? What does it do to your ability to love? How does it affect your glory? That's way more responsibility than, well, you can on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Unless you're married, then you can do whatever you want. Unless your wife gets mad about it, then you can only do it in secret. There are no rules around masturbation. There are no rules around freedom. How will you manage yourself to protect your love? How will you manage yourself to protect your relationships? You know, in marriage, and this is where I was going to start. Oh, looky there, time's flying. In a marriage, you know, a woman is motivated in a relationship 90% of it is motivated to have an intimate, heart-to-heart, emotional engagement with her lover. Her heart and her her design is, is designed for intimacy to be, you know me, I can trust you, I can be vulnerable with you, you know, you see who I am, I can be me around you and feel safe. That is, is a nourishing experience for the female. And, and she has a sex drive, but it is not the primary push for her in love relationships. So let's say she's got 90 emotional, 10 sexual. Introduce the man, flip it. 90% of his drive in the relationship is <laughs> And the man is moved along by the hope Of, of a sexual encounter. And he's got a, a need, let's say, he's got a very small need to be known and to be intimate and to have this. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I just want to tell you. It's, it's, it's much less. So let's say his is 90 sexual and 10 emotional. Now, that 90 sexual (laughs) is driving this man 
to find a way to take his 10%, his emotional, and to open it up to engage her, to connect and to stimulate her 90%. And so he's like, okay, we have to talk. Okay, I'll do it. I'm talking about married people. <laughs> married people, not this, not this. We talked for six hours on the phone last night. I said, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. No. <laughs> that is not happening in your marriage. It's more like, how come you didn't call? Now, his 90 is causing him to pursue his 10, to connect with her 90, which moves her to open up her 10 to connect with his 90. And we got us a loop. <laughs> now, the practice of masturbation, on the, especially on the, on the part of the man, is this. He takes his 90. <laughs> And he shuts it off. He takes what would motivate him to nourish, to pursue, to push into something he doesn't necessarily need, and he takes all the motivation that that unmet sex drive is pushing him into, and he extinguishes it and leaves her needs completely unmet. And so the practice of masturbation violates the covenant of love and the, the cycle, if you will, of how men and women are designed to pursue and meet and nourish the needs of one another. But when I take the practice that of objectifying a female as an, as a, uh, an outlet for my sexual euphoria... I practice that as a, as a, as a single man. I'm going to carry that right into my marriage. And it is going to emerge. And it might not emerge for the first year. Maybe it will. But, but don't think that practicing that kind of selfishness isn't going to attack love later on. Don't think for a minute that that practice isn't going to cost you. Because it is. Now, if you masturbate, is God going to strike you down? No, because there's still men in this room. <laughs> Just understand the consequences of perverting your freedoms. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>